this is a review on the DC Classics Doomsday Unleashed action figure. This is the Superman villain who killed uh, Superman temporarily in the comic books. It is about nine and a half inches high. And the shoulder width is about four and a half inches. And check out the scale of Doomsday next to Superman. That's the classics Superman figure. And he was much bigger than the Superman in the comic books. So scale wise they did a good job. And this figure is amazing. It has first of all a cloth Superman cape attached. I can't take it off but it's kind of placed in well. So I'm just going to keep the cloth Superman cape here. And just because it looks so cool like that. And before we get to the figure itself, let's just check out the details. This is the comic version. Look at this. All the unique sculpting. The hair here. Look at this. The back spikes. Looks all unique. Well sculpted, well detailed, this action figure. I'm just try to show you the, the detailing of it. You can see the face here. This part is the bony structure of the character. The knees, it's a soft plastic for the spikes, looks like a metal cable, green pants. And just a highly impressive action figure in terms of the look, the detailing that they got just right. As for the articulation, the head looks like it's on a ball joint. Not really down, up a little, but to the sides. The ponytail you can move it around, surprisingly. The shoulder area on the ball joint can go up, down, in, out. Has a bicep swivel. Has one point of articulation at the elbows. And the wrists, you can only spin it around, but there is no in or out. And it is a closed fist. The upper torso. The ranged back is pretty good. Not too much forward, really. And the waist, side to side. You got like the ball jointed hips, in or out, up or down. A swivel thighs right over here. And one point of articulation at the knee area. And the ankles can just go up or down. There's no side to side, really. And that's about it. And I'm going to get my final thoughts about this action figure in a minute. So, overall, what do I think of DC Classics Doomsday action figure? And I think this showed the quality of the DC Classics line. Incredible, high quality action figure. Well sculpted, detailed, looked just like the comic book art. The overall articulation, you know, this figure 
is the best version of Doomsday that they've made as a DC toy, I think, especially as classic look. And it showed the high quality of the classics line, which is no longer published or made. And their whole run was really top stuff. And ever since the classics line closed down and they don't publish it anymore, I think that was the high point for Mattel all these years later that they've never reached that level of quality making DC figures again. And they don't even have any regular lineups as I'm making this video in terms of a consistent DC line that is based on the comic book versions that is this high quality overall. It's a fantastic action figure, highly detailed and sought after. It can only be found in the secondary market now. Unfortunately, it is quite expensive. That's what happens when things go out of retail and are no longer available. So it is expensive, unfortunately. But for those wanting this in the Superman collection, it's so well made. The quality, the sculpting, the detail, all of it. And I definitely would recommend it. And so thanks for watching and talk to you later. Thank you.